If you'd asked me anything about Wordsworth, I would have talked to you about a rather solemn man in a frock coat looking at daffodils. His story couldn't be more different from the image of Wordsworth that's come down to us through history. I did not mention how you sometimes miss me altogether. Then arouse my house at one in the morning to ask my wife, who had just had a child, for eggs and bacon. This is betrayal upon betrayal. The man who starts out having very strong ideas about who he wants to be, particularly in relation to his work, which was a big obsession of his life. And I think what's amazing about what Nicholas has done is that he's almost gathered verbatim material from letters and diaries, so that is an amazing window into the past and you feel like you actually meet these people. What have you done to deserve such adulation? Nothing! Through the course of the play he realises that in actual fact, perhaps he learns to value other areas of his life more, particularly his family life. My character in the play, he is a bit like the Tasmanian Devil cartoon character. He sort of whirls into people's sort of situations and lives and sort of creates chaos. I'm oh, not again. Sarah, my eyes, my eyes, they burn! I got completely blind sometimes for days now, and you laugh at that! Oh, this is a great, actually. Yeah, the atmosphere in the room is, is fantastic. My favourite line in the play so far, it goes something like this. Amidst the most profound and complex... No, I can't remember. Amidst the most... We're all connecting really well, and that's the essence of doing a play well. I don't know what it is, I've forgotten it. Amidst the most profound... This is going to run through it, isn't it? If I had to describe the play in three words, they would be resonant, exciting and epic. Inspirational, powerful... Human. Hopeful. And... <laughs> dramatic. I can't remember, get me a script. <laughs> Hang on. I really do like this line. 